my name is Regina George, and I'm Director of Pathways for Future Educators at Eastern Michigan University's College of Education. Thank you for inviting us to be with you here today in this special way. We're delighted to have an opportunity to be with you. Have you ever considered working in the field of education? It's been an adventure for me, filled with many challenges and great rewards. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do. I didn't get a teaching certificate until I was 40. It may take you a while too. That's the purpose of continuing your education, to learn about yourself and to learn what do you want to do, what do you like to do, what are you good at. I found that. I persisted. I found the thing that would engage me and excite me for years. That was in the field of education. So now you're going to hear from some of our remarkable students. They have good words to share with you from their hearts. So sit back, listen up, and I'll see you later. Hello, my name is Lorian and my major is special education and my minor is secondary English. One thing that I had to learn to be successful in college was to utilize the resources around me and embrace the diversity around me. Coming into college, it is a completely different world than what you're used to. So no matter where you come from, no matter what type of knowledge you have, you're gonna be challenged. What you believe is gonna be challenged, what you saw as, what you assumed was normal and what you um, perceived as true is questioned. And it's all in a good way. All of it is to help grow your character and develop you personally. So it's important to lean into those opportunities that are gonna make you uncomfortable, lean into conversations that are gonna help you grow because oftentimes we don't get these opportunities outside of college. So college gives you a chance to dive into a new world, new perspectives, meet new people. And although it can be intimidating sometimes and it can be scary sometimes, lean into those moments. Had I not leaned into those moments, I would not have become the person that I am today. Who I was when I first got here is not who I am today. So I'm grateful that I got a chance to, to, lean, to lean into those opportunities. Um, to grow and develop personally and I've gained some amazing friends in doing that as well Another thing that helped me was utilizing the resources around me. So that includes Counseling that includes sessions health and wellness sessions that includes Concerts and things that are personally therapeutic for me poetry nights um, Coffee nights anything that will help you find joy and find peace in the midst of all of what you're doing here that can sometimes be stressful it's important that you that you get involved in those things so i got involved you know i was able to uh, join different organizations and different clubs and just have a great time along with strengthening myself academically so although academics are extremely extremely important i would argue that the social aspect of college is is a little more important than that because of course you're gonna have the knowledge of the book knowledge that you take with you outside of school but what's most important is the personal knowledge and the the social knowledge that you that you gather from people that you learn new ideas and new perspectives from so those are the two out of many lessons that I learned as a college student and I hope that it helps you in some way shape or form and I hope that you um, enjoy college and allow it to grow you in ways that you didn't expect to grow. Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine and I am from Melvindale. My majors are elementary and early childhood education. Some things I wish I knew before I started college are to not buy your textbooks from the bookstore. There's so much more ways to buy them for so much cheaper, like you will save so much money. So for example, you can try buying them from other students or if not, you could try slugbooks.com. I also wish that they had, like in my high school at least, they didn't really give a right representation of those college professors they've met. So they kind of make them seem as like mean, strict, like they don't understand, but all of my professors have been very understanding and they're nice and they understand like you are, have a lot of responsibilities. So I wish they would have, you know, given me more of that because I feel like I wouldn't have been so scared to start school. And finally, I just kind of wish that people had told me like all the opportunities that are out there and how to like properly look for them. And for me, it seems that, you know, just making connections is going to get you so many places more than you can ever imagine. 
So, you know, like, don't be afraid to, if you have a professor you really like, like, don't be afraid to reach out and, you know, let them know. And, you know, like, go visit offices, go see opportunities that are out there. And, like, you will find so much. You can find jobs, scholarships, which are important. Um, you could just find organizations that you really like. Or, like, it's just a great way to, like, if you make good connections, you will make good friends. So, I think those are my top three things that I really wish people would have had more time to explain to me before I started college because I feel like although they're small they do make a great impact once you start college but I hope this really helps thank you guys bye hello everybody my name is Johnny Session III I am a current junior at Eastern Michigan University my major is secondary education with a focus in history today I'll be talking about the importance of continuing your education after high school the main reason why I say it's important to continue your education after high school is because once you stop going to school, nine times out of 10, you probably don't want to go back. And the same thing happens in college because things in life happen and then school becomes a second option for you. Also, another reason why you should continue your education is because the more skills and trades that you learn in your life, the better off your life will be. Because education doesn't technically apply towards going to college. It can also be like a trade school. As long as you're learning something that you actually want to learn and things that you want to do with your life, then the better off that your life will be, long story short. Um, I'll also talk about the reason how I identified, well, I decided that I want to continue going to school. And the main reason why is because I knew that I wanted to become a teacher around my junior year of high school. And in order for me to become a teacher, I knew that I had to go to college. And also like people kind of questioned me going to college because I did bad my first couple of years of high school. So I knew that I wanted to prove them wrong because they seen others going around to school around me. And my friends were telling me like what college was like and I knew that I wanted to be a part of it. Um, so basically the way how I identified my career path was because I had a teacher who I felt as if he did not teach the best way in class or he did not use the best methods to teach us, but his heart was in the right place. Like he actually wanted us to learn. He actually wanted us to do good in school, like do good on the ACT, but his methods and, and ways of helping us get there was just not it for me. So basically I decided to put my money where my mouth was and basically I've been learning new techniques and things and ways out so I can help better our students in the future. And then basically some strategies or tips that I can give you guys to basically use while you're going to school. It basically think about your origin and think about why am I even doing this to myself? Why am I forcing myself to go to school? Nine times out of 10, if you think about your reasoning, basically it will get you re back motivated. Just take the time that you need to reflect. Take a day or two or however long it takes, it could be 30 minutes to a day. Just take some time to reflect on your goals and reflect why am I going to school? And nine times out of 10, that will usually push you to get through school and it'll give you the motivation that you need. So I hope that you have a good day. Hi, my name is Austin. I'm from Dundee, Michigan. I'm a vocal music education major and my personal goal is I wanna teach a high school choir. When it comes to advice, there are a couple pieces of information I could give out that might be useful. Uh, like for my case, I did not know how to apply for scholarships or how to apply for work study my freshman year of college. Um, so when it comes to applying for scholarships, people would tell me all the time like, hey, I got the scholarship, go ahead and apply, but they wouldn't tell me where to go. So um, one thing you could definitely do is go to your university's website and go to like a forum. They'll have like a little forum page or you can click on the link or something and they'll give you like a list of scholarships that apply to your major. Um, some of them will have like requirements like you need to write an essay, you, you gotta be at a certain grade level. Some will not even require anything and you can just apply and see if you get it. And if things do get a bit tough and you're not able to figure out how to find it, that's perfectly fine. You can always go to a counselor, they'll be willing to help you out. You can also go to like an academic aid or if you are in contact already with the university, you can go ahead and contact financial aid and see if you can get some help through them. And the last piece of advice that I could give um, is under a category that I made called, what was one thing I had to learn uh, to be successful in college? And for me, that's time management. Uh, I'm still learning time management today. Sometimes, you know, I'll be doing an assignment work at, or working on an essay. Then I watch a YouTube video to take a breather. And then like, I'm still watching YouTube like 10 hours later. And then by the time I'm done watching videos, it's midnight and I have to stay up and finish this essay. So um, one thing I would, I could, uh, the last bit of advice that I can give is try to take a breather from now and then from your assignments, like five, 10 minutes is sufficient and then get right back to your work. Don't let your breaks turn into procrastination. That's the most important thing. Thank you for your time, and I wish y'all luck in college.
Hello, my name is Aaliyah Robinson and I'm from Westland, Michigan with my major being children and families with a minor in psychology. I knew that right after I graduated from high school, I wanted to further my education beyond high school. Continuing my education was important and still is important to me because I feel that with being a non-college educated woman, it is part of my duty to give back to those who may not have had the same privileges that I have and to teach and encourage them to do the things that can not only help themselves, but help their community as well. This brought me into my ultimate career goal, which is to run a nonprofit organization targeted in low income communities. I came to EMU because I knew I wanted to go into the education field and Eastern was known for and still is known for being the best school for teachers. As well as Eastern is only about a 30 minute drive from home. So I could get the experience to live on campus, but still get to travel home if need be. From then on, they offered me a full ride scholarship to attend Eastern, and I was, I, I knew this was a college for me. Before I started college, I wish I knew that college is truly what you make it out to be. If you want the full college experience, you have to network, go to events, make friends, join organizations, find study buddies, and most importantly, reach out to professors if you are having trouble in classes. They're here to help you and not harm you. So if you truly want to be successful, I know it's nerve wracking, but you have to put yourself in the position to do so. And I promise it's not that bad. One thing that I like about EMU and how I was able to be successful throughout my journey are the professors. At my high school, teachers would make it seem that college professors were the strictest, meanest people in the world. So I honestly, I was scared when I came. Having those preconceived notions of the professors really scared me. However, in college, that is far from the case. They are here to help you succeed. And as long as you want to help yourself, they are willing to help you, especially the professors in the education department. You can tell that they care about you and it's one of the best feelings in the world, especially with COVID-19 still going on and everything for the most part being virtual. Coming to college is so much more than just going to classes. I feel that coming to college really broadened my horizon to a whole new world. And the skills that I learned since, I believe are the best strategies to prepare me for my journey throughout life, even after I graduate. And I really hope that I've given you some strategies to help you prepare, prepare for your college career and hopefully that will be at EMU. Thanks for listening. We're grateful to have had an opportunity to spend time with you today at your conference. I hope that some words someone said today was just for you and got you thinking about your future and that perhaps you'll consider working in the field of education. If you have questions about Eastern Michigan University, please feel free to contact me at rgeorge, that's for Regina George, rgeorge at emich, E-M-I-C-H dot E-D-U. I'd be happy to respond to you or help you with any questions you have. So may the rest of your conference be outstanding and the rest of your school year be outstanding as well. Thanks again.